All right, everybody, welcome to a Fatal Rose Creations tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to do a condensed version of how to create a mesh in Marvelous Designer. Technically, these can be used in a vast variety of 3D programs and games and all that hoopla, but my main focus is going to be to teach people how to make a mesh and get it into The Sims 4. But like I said, the part that is done in Marvelous Designer is universal minus the avatar and can be done and used for other programs. Anyway, the goal is to do this in 20 minutes. So let's make a mesh. So first thing you're going to do is get your avatar. Um, oh, and this little box down here is going to tell you everything I push. How fun. So go to File, Open, Avatar. You should already have an avatar saved somewhere. Just go ahead and open one up. Even when I'm making shirts, I like to do full body because I like to see where the waistline is. Alright, so this is your 2D window, 3D window, and this is where all your extra hoopla is. Alright. So we're making a shirt. So first, we're gonna go up to this doohickey and click polygon. And we're just gonna go along, what is that, your shoulder? Yeah, let's make a long sleeve shirt. Do do do, connect the dots. Oh my God, we win. All right, now go to edit pattern and you can either click this one and click unfold. You can click unfold with symmetric editing and sewing so everything you do over here is done over here and the sewing matches or you can do like I do and do symmetric pattern that way I can alter this side and alter this side and it be kosher dosher so we're just gonna go up here at a curve point bring this in a little bit and maybe Put one a little here and then probably put a little bit there. Cool. And now that we've got that, I'm going to go to segment sewing. Click this tick, that tick. Make sure your ticks match. And then we can go to here. Click that right click copy and then paste boo boo now we have it on the other side because we need a back of our shirt right then we'll just grab it move it over and let's bring it to the back now right click it click flip horizontally now we're moving this is scrolling with my roll wheel this is left click it just clicks this is right click this is clicking my scroll wheel all right now we need to sew the two pieces together so we go to segment sewing make sure these ticks if you do it in the bottom do the bottom over here if you do it in the top it won't show because it's a shorter piece so top top bottom bottom make sure they match if they don't it looks goofy we don't want goofy goofy is good but not in marvelous designer so you're just gonna sew all your pieces together make sure our tick marks match oh no see look what happens if it doesn't match oh it's messed up if that ever happens go to edit sewing try and see the sew line if you can't see it over here you can see it over here right click it and delete it and it's undone you can also sew in the 2d space segment sewing and you make sure it matches and voila now if you're looking at me I mean you can't see me but if you're picturing that you're looking at me and you're like, why the hell would we want this line in the front? Oh, you don't want that? That's fine. Go to segment sewing or edit sewing. Right click the sew line. 
Click merge. It's magic. Bada bing. If you're making a tank top, you can stop here. Another thing that I'm gonna do, click on the body, go over here, click that into in property editor. Let's change the color. Let's make it brown. Black brown sims. Now I can see the clipping better. You don't don't want the clipping. No one wants to see the boobies. Unless you do want to see the boobies, then hey, do your thing, girl. Or guy. Cool. So now we have the front on the and the back of the shirt. So now we're gonna make a sleeve. So go back up to polygon. We're gonna click this dot and this dot. Drag it out. When it's pink, it's straight. And just connect that. Go to edit curve point. Kind of go diagonal from this curve point to here. Drag it down. Match it up. Symmetry. Now we're going to go to edit pattern. Right click here. Unfold. Now over here, whenever you click on a piece, you should get this gizmo. Try and line this gizmo up to the body. Some 3D avatars will have arrangement points. This one does not. So you have to manually do it. Oops. Now go to segment sewing. Connect these. Magical. And then I always sew underneath after it falls because sometimes if you do it before, it'll like be all in the arm and it's really annoying. Voila. Now we want the long sleeve. So all we have to do is go here. I'm gonna delete this point because it's unnecessary, which I just right clicked to do that. I'm just gonna under edit pattern, click this and drag it out. And drag it out a little more. Maybe a little less. Cool. Now I'm going to take this point and bring it in. And this point and br arr, bring it in. Voila. We have a sleeve. Now, I mean, we could be super cool and just have one sleeve, but let's have two sleeves. So we're going to go to this one, click this one, right click it, symmetric pattern. Now if I edit this one, it'll edit the other one. I'm going to take this sleeve, bring it over. make it line up as best we can as you can see I'm doing a splendid job perfection all right and we're gonna sew it we're seamstress today seamstresses seamsters yeah we're seamsters boom we have two sleeves they look kind of crazy. That's fine. If we plan to just go from here to Blender, i.e. you're not going to use ZBrush or Substance Painter, follow these steps. Click the body. And actually, don't click the body. Click the mesh. Click remesh should get rid of most of your clipping. Actually, for this, we can click the body. Click Smooth Avatar. Smooth. Smooth. Change it to two. That will eliminate a lot of your clipping and so will remeshing. Look how beautiful. Now highlight your mesh. Change particle distance to 15. Organize your 2D arrangement. It's already pretty organized. We like to keep things 
clean around here. Sometimes. Over here, go to UV Editor. Right click, reset to 2D arrangement. Right click, fit all to UV1. Okay. Make sure that looks like that. And it's in this green by red bar. Highlight the whole thing. Press Control K. Oh, if I never mentioned it before, to make the mesh fit to the body, you press space. But it's fine, because you should have seen it here. That's why I have this here. All right, you go to File, Export, OBJ Selected, because we have it selected. Save it wherever the heck you want. Um, I'm going to make a new folder. Tutorial long sleeve. You guys can see if I can spell or not. Depends on the day. That was my baby monitor, sorry. Alright, so I'm gonna name it tutorial long sleeve and I'm gonna name it low poly. You don't have to, but this is because I'm gonna show you. So this is the way if you're going straight to Blender. Save it. Make sure your settings look as follows. Select all patterns. Single object. You can do weld or unweld. If it's welded, when you try and do something here in Blender, it's also going to affect whatever it's sewn to. If you're not going to ZBrush, you can do unweld. If you are going to ZBrush, you need to do weld. But, um,. So I would just say, if you're not going to ZBrush, you're going straight to Blender, just click Unweld. Make sure your UV map looks good. Make sure all this looks good. Include internal shape. If you use internal shapes, we did not. That would be like making a cuff or something like that. It's not something we did. Make sure your scale is M, percentage 100, X, Y up, Z, this first one, okay. That's how you export it. Low poly. If you're going to ZBrush, follow these steps. Highlight your mesh. Go to Property Editor. We've already changed the avatar to smooth, so we don't need to do that. Unclick Remesh drop down miscellaneous. Make sure where it says triangle, it says to quads. For me, I normally have to remesh it, unremesh it, and then change it to quads. For some reason, just straight going to quads doesn't work for me. It may be different for you. Um, so now we have it in quads. Change your particle distance to seven. Hit enter. Now this might take a while depending on your computer and I think I said hit enter you hit space and also we can press highlight this and press control J so you can really see the difference when you hit space aha more detail that is because when you look at the mesh there are more squares before we changed it to seven, there were less squares. The more squares they are, the more realistic, I guess you could say, the mesh will look. So that's why for this method, we take it down to seven. and it allows for more crinkles and stuff like that. Again, highlight it, check your UV. We didn't move it at all, so our UV is the same. Press Control G Q. Control Q freezes the mesh in place, so that way it looks exactly the same in ZBrush as it does here. You go to File, Export, OBJ Selected. For this one, I'm going to name it Tutorial Long Sleeve, and then I named this one MD. 
save. Now for going to ZBrush, you need to have all patterns, single object. You need to have thin checked and then weld checked. Make sure this is good. We didn't do an internal shape. Your scale and percentage stays the same. This stays the same. This stays the same. Once you choose these settings, they will always be those settings. I only had to change it because I just showed you two different ways to export it. Anyway, at this point, you are ready to go into your respective program. If you're going into Blender, export it the first way. If you're going into ZBrush, export it the second way. And you're ready to party. That is making a long sleeve shirt and technically a tank top if you wanted to not do the sleeves in less than 20 minutes. And hey, if you want to do a short sleeve shirt, Bladow. I mean, I guess that's more mid sleeve, but you get the idea. You just lower the length of the sleeve. It takes a longer time to make changes when you're in particle distance 7. If you're going to make changes, raise the particle distance, make the change, and then lower the particle distance. Anyway, have a good rest of your day. This has been Fatal Rose Creations. Hope this tutorial helps you out.